Easter, boys and girls. Today, we're celebrating the most important day of the church year. It's Easter Sunday when we remember Jesus' resurrection. Can you say resurrection with me? Resurrection. Hmm, what is the resurrection? Do you know? Well, the word resurrection means that Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus was not in the tomb. God raised Jesus to life. Our prayer table is decorated in a special way, isn't it? What do you see? Yes, you might have said Easter lilies in the background. We also have a white and a gold cloth on our prayer table. White and gold are liturgical colors that show glory and joy. And this candle in the middle is called the Paschal Candle, which is lit at the Easter Vigil Mass, and then it's kept lit throughout the season of Easter. It represents Christ, who is the light of the world. Do you remember what word we can say again now that it's Easter? I'll give you a hint. It starts with the letter A. Yes, you're right. It's Alleluia. We will get to sing Alleluia in our gathering song today, too. Let's learn first how to sign some words in American Sign Language. First, we're going to sign the words, He is risen. Take one hand and lay it out flat like this. Then make a V and turn it upside down. I want you to think of this as Jesus' legs. And we're going to bring Jesus on top of your hand, which is the tomb, just like Jesus has risen from the dead. Good job. Now let's remember how to sign the word Alleluia. Make hooks with both hands and twirl up. Nice work. Okay, we're going to do something tricky now, but just try your best. For the words new life, put your hand out like this and then scoop it up. Good. And now we're going to make the sign for the word life. Make L's with both hands and lift them up like this. Now this is our last sign. I know we have a lot today. We're going to sign the word Jesus. Place one finger on one hand and then switch. We'll use these signs in our gathering song, which is called, He is Risen, Alleluia. Sing along with me. He is risen, Alleluia. He is here with us today. He is risen, Alleluia. He brings new life on His day. Jesus, you bring new life on this day. Jesus, you bring new life on this day. It was early Sunday morning when they went back to the tomb. Oh, just as he said, in three days he'd rise. His resurrection giving us eternal life. He is risen, hallelujah. He is here with us today. He is risen, alleluia. He brings new life on this day. Jesus, you bring new life on this day. Jesus, you bring new life on this day. They were walking to Emmaus, and he joined them on the way. In the breaking of bread, they recognized him. His resurrection giving us eternal life. He is risen, alleluia. He is here with us today. He is risen, alleluia. He brings new life on this day. Jesus, you bring new life on this day. Jesus, you bring new life on this day. As we gather to remember, we all listen to God's word. In the breaking of bread, by sharing the cup, 
His resurrection giving us a time of life. He is risen, hallelujah. He is here with us today. He is risen, hallelujah. He brings new life on His day. Jesus, you bring new life on His day. Jesus, you bring new life on His day. He is risen, hallelujah. He is here with us today. He is risen, hallelujah. He brings new life on His day. Jesus, you bring new life on His day. Jesus, you bring new life on this day. He is risen. Hallelujah. Your voices were so joyful, boys and girls. Thank you for singing along. Let's look at our coloring page today. What do you see? Yes, there's a tomb, and here are St. Peter and St. John. What else do you notice? Yes, the stone is rolled away from the tomb. Is anyone inside the tomb? No, I just see strips of linen cloth. Jesus was not in the tomb, was he, boys and girls? St. Peter and St. John couldn't believe it. We'll hear more of the story of Jesus' resurrection in our gospel. Our Paschal candle is already lit. So let's get ready to listen to God's word. In our first reading, we'll hear St. Peter talking to a group of people who don't know very much about Jesus. Let's listen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to Cornelius and his household, You surely know what happened everywhere in Judea. It all began in Galilee after John had told everyone to be baptized. God gave the Holy Spirit and power to Jesus from Nazareth. He was with Jesus as he went around doing good and healing everyone who was under the power of the devil. We all saw what Jesus did both in Israel and in the city of Jerusalem. Jesus was put to death on a cross. But three days later, God raised him to life and let him be seen. Not everyone saw him. He was seen only by us who ate and drank with him after he was raised from death. We were the ones God chose to tell others about him. God told us to announce clearly to the people that Jesus is the one he has chosen to judge the living and the dead. Every one of the prophets has said that all who have faith in Jesus will have their sins forgiven in his name. The word of the Lord. And we say together, thanks be to God. Can you say that? Thanks be to God. So we just heard St. Peter talk to a leader of the Roman army whose name was Cornelius and all the people who were at his house. And who was St. Peter talking to them about? Yes, about Jesus. St. Peter was helping Cornelius learn more about Jesus so that Jesus' message of love could come to all people from all countries all over the world. God wanted everyone to know about how Jesus rose from the dead. So he sent St. Peter and the other apostles to tell people the good news. You and I also have the job of telling people the good news of Jesus. And we can do that in lots of ways. The easiest way to do that today is to tell people, Happy Easter! Jesus is risen! And also, to celebrate Easter with happiness and gladness. Now it's time for the responsorial song, which is a song that we'll sing together. Our words today are, This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Sing this with me the second time when I raise my hand. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Tell the Lord how thankful you are, because he is kind and always merciful. Let Israel shout, God is always merciful. 
This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone that the builders tossed aside has now become the most important stone. The Lord has done this, and it is amazing to us. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Let us rejoice and be glad. Are you happy today, boys and girls? I am too. Our psalm uses words to help us praise God for his goodness, who saved us from sin and death through the glory of Jesus' resurrection. Let's shout for joy for our Lord and be happy during this season of Easter. Now we'll read our second reading, which is something that St. Paul wrote to talk about how baptism gives us new life in Christ. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you have been raised to life with Christ. Now set your heart on what is in heaven, where Christ rules at God's right side. Think about what is up there, not about what is here on earth. You died, which means that your life is hidden with Christ, who sits beside God. Christ gives meaning to your life, and when he appears, you will also appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. And we say together, thanks be to God. Your turn. Thanks be to God. In today's second reading, St. Paul said that all of us, in a way, died and rose from the dead on the day that we were baptized. We were given new life as members of God's family. And St. Paul also said that we have another job, to set our hearts on what is in heaven. Hmm, what does that mean? Well, it means that we should be living our lives for Jesus, always thinking about heaven. We should be thinking about how we can love Jesus, how we can serve others like Jesus did. And really, we should be living our lives so that we can go to heaven. Let's keep our eyes focused on Jesus so that we can try to be more like him. Now it's time to stand up and get ready for the gospel. And guess what? We get to sing the Alleluia once again. So sing with me joyfully when I raise my hand, boys and girls. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. We come to praise the glory of your name. Gather to hear the word of our God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Boys and girls, the day Jesus died, his body was wrapped in some cloth and laid in a cave like this, which was Jesus' tomb. Then a large stone was rolled in front of the cave's entrance. In today's gospel, some disciples come to visit Jesus' tomb on the third day after he died. Listen closely to hear what happens. The Lord be with you. And we say together, and with your spirit. Can you say that? And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. And we say together, glory to you, O Lord. Make a little cross on your forehead, on your lips, and on your heart. On Sunday morning, while it was still dark, 
Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran to Simon Peter and to Jesus' favorite disciple and said, They have taken the Lord from the tomb. We don't know where they have put him. Peter and the other disciples started for the tomb. They ran side by side until the other disciple ran faster than Peter and got there first. He bent over and saw the strips of linen cloth lying inside the tomb, but he did not go in. When Simon Peter got there, he went into the tomb and saw the strips of cloth. He also saw the piece of cloth that had been used to cover Jesus' face. It was rolled up and in a place by itself. The disciple who got there first then went into the tomb, and when he saw it, he believed. At that time, Peter and the other disciple did not know that the scriptures said Jesus would rise to life. The Gospel of the Lord. And we say together, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your turn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may go ahead and sit down now, boys and girls. Today, we're going to use a magnifying glass to take a closer look at the details of the gospel. Let me get that out here. Oh, someone's holding it for me. Hi, Faith. Hi, Miss Heidi. I was just so excited that it was Easter and I wanted to join you. Here's your magnifying glass. Why don't you hold on to that, Faith? We're going to look a little more closely at our gospel. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, so we know that Mary Magdalene said, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they had put him. Hmm, let's take a closer look, Faith. Do you think that Mary Magdalene thought that someone had stolen Jesus' body? Yes, I do. You're right. And not only that, but Mary Magdalene had thought that the enemies of Jesus had stolen his body. So after taking a quick glance at the tomb, she ran to tell the apostles that Jesus was gone. Yes, and taking a closer look, I see that John and Peter ran to investigate. You are right. After running to the tomb, John could see inside because he got there first. But he waited for Peter to go inside first. Hmm, why do you think he let Peter go in? Well, wasn't Peter the leader of the apostles? Yeah, you're right. And after Peter went in, John came in too. And they both saw that the strips of linen cloth, which had been wrapped around Jesus after he died, were just lying there. Let's look a bit closer though, Faith. When John saw the burial cloths inside the tomb, what happened? Let's take a look. It says that John saw and believed. What does that mean, Miss Heidi? Well, Faith, John didn't just think that someone had taken Jesus' body. He believed that Jesus had risen from the dead. With his resurrection, Jesus surprised all of his friends. Boys and girls, Every Easter Sunday, we remember this great surprise, that the tomb was empty because Jesus had risen from the dead. We rejoice in the resurrection of Jesus when Jesus brought us new life. Let's proclaim, Alleluia, Jesus is risen. Your turn. Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus, Jesus is, is risen. risen. Good job. Now we get to sing a song to say what we believe in, to profess our faith. I can't wait for the part that says, do you believe he rose again? And we'll say, yes, Lord, I believe so joyfully. Now let's sing along. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes, Lord, I believe. Who made the earth and all we see? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. Conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. 
and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, Lord, I believe. He died for us so we could live. Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe he rose again? Yes, Lord, I believe. He's seated now at God's right hand. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. The Catholic Church and communion of saints? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in God's forgiveness? Yes, Lord, I believe. That we will rise to life again? Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. This is our faith which we profess. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. I believe. I do believe. Now it's time for the prayer of the faithful where we bring our prayers to God. On this Easter Sunday, let us pray that the joy of Jesus' resurrection will reach more people all over the world. After each petition, please sing, Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of the church will joyfully tell Jesus' message to the ends of the earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all people who are suffering throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people will respect every human as a child of God, no matter their skin color, language, culture, or stage of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Now it is our turn to bring our prayers to God, either out loud or in our hearts. Let's bow our heads. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, you sent us Jesus, that we might have fullness of life. We know that if we live with him, we will die with him. If we die with him, we will rise from the dead and be happy with him in heaven. Thank you, God, for the bright promise of this happy Easter Sunday. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you say that? Amen. This ends today's children's liturgy, but don't worry. There's still more you can do now to proclaim the good news of Jesus. Use the link below to download the Jesus is Risen coloring page. Thank you for sending in your lovely artwork to us. We'll show your coloring pages at the end of this week or next week's episode. If your parents would like to share your weekly coloring pages or freehand faith-based drawings, have them take a picture of your drawing and email it to kidsliturgy2020 at gmail.com by Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern. 
we'll show your artwork on an upcoming episode. Miss Heidi is proud to partner with Bayard for family and child faith formation to order children celebrate Children's Liturgy Leaders Guide or leaflets, the Living with Christ Sunday Missal for Young Catholics, Flom Gospel Weeklies, or John Berlin's Religious Music, visit BayardFaithResources.com. Receive 15% off select items with promo code Miss Heidi. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening to God's Word with me on today, Easter Sunday. Stay well, God bless you, and remember that Jesus loves you. A very happy Easter to you and your family. Free, cause I know you walk beside me and you show.